At this time, I would like to invite the children forward. We have some special uh, things for you this evening. And please come up if you can. Uh, you can bring an adult with you if you like to hold your hand, but you're welcome to please come forward. Great. See some folks coming forward. You can have a seat right here on the steps with us, okay? All right. Thank you. Good to see you. I bet you're all excited this evening, right? Can you have a seat right in here somewhere? Okay, good, excellent, great. Good to see you all. Who's excited for this evening? Anybody? <laughs> Thumbs up, Thumbs up for sure. Well, you know what? There's also times that are really great to celebrate. And we, I think there's room if we can scoot in and over and around. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. How oh, great to see you all. And sometimes, who likes to celebrate birthdays? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think, does Christmas compare to a birthday? Sort of. Do, do, you, do you really have a sense of whose birthday it is? Whose birthday? Who said it? Jesus' birthday. Yes. And you know, when you have a birthday, it's a big deal, right? When Jesus has a birthday, it was in a quiet place. It was in a barn. It was a manger that he stayed in, which is a feeding trough for animals. But you know what? Across the globe since then, the word has come out of the good news that this really is for the whole world, right? So we, you know, we're going to learn a little bit more about that uh, tonight. So I'm thankful you came forward. And what I didn't light the candles, but look what that says. I'm sorry, you're look. oh, you can even look on the screen there. <laughs> you see what that says? Happy birthday, but who? Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. So there are some cupcakes here, but we're gonna have them in the back, okay? So that when you leave, there's napkins and little plates that you can take. And when you take a bite of that cupcake, we're gonna make sure in our hearts that we say, thank you for coming that we can celebrate your birthday, Jesus, because it makes a difference to the whole world. It really does. And I have a little bit more to share with you about that. Whoop, there goes Linus for a minute. So, <laughs> so how about if you'll help me, can you sing with me? Pretend there's candles on here. We're not gonna blow anything out, but there are cupcakes here. We can see them, the cupcakes, they have sprinkles on them. And sing with me a little bit. You know that, that song, Happy Birthday, right? Okay, let's go. One, two, and we'll sing Lord Jesus. You can sing along if you like. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lord Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Amen. And he's living now in our midst, even though we don't see him in the same way. So... I'm going to sit down here a second because there's a lot more to share, okay? This might be related to other things. Jesus, when he came, he was called Emmanuel, God with us, okay? And do you guys know this character? Yeah, look at his tree. Does anybody have a tree like that at home? No, <laughs> probably not. Listen to what he says. Maybe you can hear it from my mic. Charlie Brown took that little tree. He saw that it had, uh, if he gave it love and cared for it, it would be a great Christmas tree, right? Did other people around him think that? Probably not, no. And you know what? He was asking, what's the true meaning of Christmas? And then along came Linus. And unfortunately, his little battery doesn't work anymore because my son had him when he was four. He's now 12. So <laughs> it just doesn't work for that many years, I don't think. But Linus, what did Linus always hold on to? Do you guys know that? Yes. Oh, like a shepherd's hook? His blanket. He always held on to that blanket, didn't he? And you know what? When he was sharing on the Charlie Brown Christmas, what 
the true meaning of Christmas is, you know what he did? When he shared from Luke 2, just like the state family did for us tonight, Luke chapter 2, when he said the angels were there saying, fear not, okay? For I bring you great tidings of great joy, good news for all people. You know what he did? He dropped his blanket because he was holding that blanket because he had a lot of fear of things and he was afraid, okay? And sometimes we cling to things when we're afraid, right? But because he knew that, that, that good news of great joy, he was able to let that blanket go for that time and know that God is with you. I want you to know in your hearts, God is with you, okay? No matter what you're facing, you, your families, God is with you. And we don't need to be afraid because of that good news. God is the beginning, the end, and with us now. Okay, so Linus kind of knew that, and he was playing a shepherd at that time. I wish I could get his voice to go, but it's not going to go tonight. <laughs> but we know that good news of great joy, okay? So Linus, I think the other thing was he liked blankets, because what, what does a blanket uh, do for us? Yes, down here. Keeps us warm when we wrap in it, right? Anything else? Yes? Makes you feel safe. Sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. When we wrap ourselves in the blanket of God's love, which God did for us at Christmas, Jesus was wrapped in swaddling clothes in a manger. God loves us so much and wraps us in that great love. And yeah, it sounds like sometimes, oh, well, isn't that nice? But it's for real and it's true. So you know, when you wrap yourself in blankets, that God's love is with you, okay? I think I have enough here. Oh, I wanted to show you the Snoopy for a minute. How about that? Is that a pretty cool Snoopy? He's changing colors. I think that might be for an Angela up there in, in <laughs> the peanut gallery there. But as we... Um, have these blankets. I want you to know God's great love. Can we take it for each family group? I'm not sure I have enough for every single person. Okay, so let me give which family group is which here. <laughs> guys have one? Okay, and you guys have one? Little guys? There? Okay. Is there a family group that's... There you go. Whoop, there you go. How about you guys? Did you get one? Does, is every family group represented? Did you guys get one? I want to give you this one then. And you know what? If somebody didn't get a blanket, everybody else, every family group represented? Yes? Brother or sister up front? You sure? <laughs> You're not sure? Let's see. Do we have any? Okay. I'm going to be sure to get other blankets, okay? So let's share a prayer together, okay? Thanks so much for coming up. So special. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for coming, that you were born into this world for us, and you love us so much. You wrap us in your love so that we can be strong and courageous in this life for the things that you would call us to be a part of. Thank you that sometimes life is hard, but you remind us of the goodness and the great news of joy that you give us and that we can live into. So bless each and every child here, each and every heart uh, in this congregation through this night and who are hearing this online. Let us know that we're never alone. You are Emmanuel with us and we give thanks in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you. Is there, raise a hand if your family did not get one. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, we're going to bring some more blankets here, okay? So come back next Sunday, okay? Sunday, the first Sunday of January, all right? Got a minute.